Welcome back to part two of the video. So I did get a package from Summit Racing. It was my transmission cooler. So this is what I'm gonna be using. Five by 12 inches long, I believe. And it's gonna be sitting behind the grill of my car. Um, the mounting hardware, so the ties that go, like zip ties, but they go straight through the fins. Um, and then also some hose clamps. Um, I also uh, got some hose as well with that. And then I went ahead and purchased another set, or two sets of halos for my car. Um, mine are starting to burn out, so we'll be replacing those soon. Um, and hopefully these ones last a little bit longer. I also have been working on my uh, that 8 inch fan that I got off eBay a little while ago. Um, working on making that, converting that from plastic to aluminum or metal so it doesn't start to uh, melt the housing. Um, but for mounting it, I was going to have to screw this onto that metal bracket that I have sitting right over my engine and that gets really hot so I was assuming that this was going to melt. It might not have, but for now I'm working on just making another uh, just all metal housing for the fan. So we'll work on that and I guess that's what today's project is going to be. So I went to Home Depot, bought um, some sheet metal and cut out, I think it's about one and a half inch strips and now I'm working on getting everything all lined up and then I'm going to drill through both of these and then insert a rivet and I'll probably do it from the, or the rivet from inside out just so the back end isn't interfering with the fan blades so yeah So everything's going to line up nicely and then I'm just going to rivet it, like I said, from the inside out um, just so it keeps like that weird rivet end um, on the outside and I'll deal with that. Alright guys, so I've got the rivets in. Um, and what they wanted to do, since this is aluminum, uh, it's pretty soft, so the rivet wanted to just pull straight through the hole. So before it did that, um, I just stopped so these things didn't break off. So I'm going to have to cut these off, and then I'll cut, I don't know if you can see that, so there's a hole in there. Um, so I'm going to cut it and then fold it over on itself, just so it kind of keeps the rivet in, but it's sturdy. Um, going anywhere. So I got a circle made and I'm pretty pumped on that. So this is what it looks like so far. Like I said, I riveted from the inside out so the pretty side is on the inside just so the fan blades aren't going to make contact with it. And then the outside I had to uh, cut a little X in the excess metal just so I could get the rivet uh, pieces out because it didn't feel like they were going to break um, and pull. Um, the stem off of it, so um, I just cut a little X in each side and just pushed them out the way that, or the opposite way that we were pulling them in to get the rivet tight. Um, but it is tight, it is in there. Um, it's a pretty good circle, and the fan fits in there nicely. Shouldn't make contact if I get everything all centered and lined up nicely. So I got a little bit antsy and just in the zone, so I finished up the fan. So this is what it looks like. Um, I don't know why I zoomed in, but this is it. Um, made out of the aluminum sheet. I just have to drill some holes on these end pieces just to give it uh, some mounting points. 
Um, it is kind of heavy where the motor is, so it does kind of want to flex, but as you can see, it doesn't hit anything, but it works. Um, and yeah, it's looking, looking good so far. Alright, and FedEx just dropped off another, or UPS actually just dropped off another package, and it is the remote uh, transmission cooler kit. Alright, so it's a Sonax uh, remote transmission cooler kit for the O1M transmission. Um, a lot of the Volkswagen automatic transmissions, so here it is, and yeah, it seems pretty uh, self-explanatory and plug and play, so it should be pretty easy install. So I think in this case, uh, this is going to be like the only time that I'm paying attention to the instructions, which now that I look at them, um, they're very straightforward. So this kit is actually like really, really nice. Um, and for 35 bucks, I don't know if you can really beat it. So I'm really excited to get this on the car, uh, see how that affects the transmission, um, and then I can also go through and change the transmission fluid and all of that stuff. So that's going to be fun. Um, I'm really excited that I got this fan built, and it doesn't look super ghetto like I thought it was going to come out like just super cheap looking, but it honestly doesn't look that bad. It kind of looks cool. Um, I might paint it. I'm not too sure. I like the silver look. Maybe I'll just paint the fan part silver as well um, and then just leave the fins black and stuff. Next to putting the turbo on, I think these are going to be the most satisfying parts. Uh, it's just something about like driving your car when it's hot. If you guys have like a heavily modified car, you're just like you're super on edge and you don't even want to drive your car or like get into boost or drive super fast because you're afraid you're gonna blow your engine. So if you can make your car run cooler and run at normal operating temps, which mine does, but like it starts to heat so at like stoplights it'll just start to climb so um, it'll be nice to have the cooling mods in there.